Here and now, the Father declares, I have chosen you to be the recipient of my gentle mercies during this time of year. My loving kindness and my truth are protecting you and keeping you by your side in the face of hardship, even when it appears as though everything is lost. In spite of the fact that the enemy's onslaught may be beyond number, my faithfulness is unfathomable, and it will encircle you and protect you even when all else breaks down. Fear not, God says to you. You should not allow the adversary to trick you into believing that you are deserving of what is happening to you since this is a falsehood. In spite of the fact that you are not flawless and you do not lack any mistakes, your heart is nevertheless drawn toward me. That is something that I have observed and taken notice of, and despite this, I have decided to be pleased to deliver you. You are correct in saying that there is a portion of it that is unknown to you and that there are things that I have not disclosed to you. Nonetheless, the most essential information that you should bear in mind is who I am in this circumstance and the fact that my splendor is your defense even against the things that you cannot see coming. God warns that you should not let fear cause your heart to fail you. Regardless of how strongly you react to the situation, make it a point to refrain from committing a sin with your mouth. When you are unable to speak in a way that is wholesome, please allow your tongue to cleave to the roof of your mouth. Your words are the difference between life and death. I will fill your mouth with excellent things, and at the same time, I will allow my goodness to be visible in the land of the living, where you are concerned. What about the adversary? Those who are opposed to you, who are they? Their disgrace will be brought upon them, and they will be driven backward, leave them to me. It is not worth your time to engage in conflicts that you are unable to win, I am working regardless, therefore have faith in me for the conclusion. Whenever you feel as though you have lost all of your power, you will be able to witness the evidence of my deliverance, as well as the evidence that I am considering you in resolving your situation, says God. I am aware of the pressure that you are experiencing, and I am moving to provide you with support and grace so that you can persevere in the midst of the storm, says the Father today. To sin not with your lips, you must first make it your purpose in your heart and then make it your determination. Even if the enemy wants you to believe that I am to blame for what is taking place, you should know that this is a falsehood that is being presented as the truth. The things that the adversary is doing to you are not my responsibility, rather, I am accountable for you. Always keep in mind that the thief is not only there to steal, but also to murder and destroy. In no circumstance do I ever operate in that manner. Whenever I participate in your life, it is always about life and living life to the fullest, even when you are under a great deal of stress and even being persecuted. Because of the current circumstances, the most powerful expression of faith that you can make is to remain silent. Your feelings have the ability to attract more of the same into your situation while they are smoldering behind the tensions and troubles that you are experiencing. I am bringing you to rest on the threshing floor of my purpose in your life, so let your tongue to cleave to the roof of your mouth and know that I am doing this. It is because of this that I force you to be aware of your termination and to evaluate your days without relying on erroneous notions of your natural strength or capability. Even in situations where you feel like you are failing, when you are doing everything wrong, and when you are behaving improperly to what is going on around you, grace and grace alone are what sustain you. Have faith in me. I am a loving father and I am taking care of you and watching over you until the shift occurs that makes everything different. Trust my mercy and trust my loving kindness because I am a love father. I perform miracles in your life in proportion to the degree to which you fully surrender to me, the father declares with this message today. You should not give the adversary the opportunity to entice you with pointless anxiety or self-centered stress. Working beside you in your faith and in the words that you speak is the work that the angels surrounding you are doing. 
My commandments will no longer be subject to agitation or rejection. Even if you can't see the result of the scenario, you should still be able to make adjustments. It's not the first time I've let you down, and I'm not about to forget. The nature of things is shifting, and the circumstances are beginning to bend to my constancy. Having faith in my planning and being aware that the change is already occurring is essential. According to God, you are not a child of poverty, rather, you are an heir to the treasures that fall within my kingdom's jurisdiction. Feelings of love, optimism, and faith are flowing toward you. You are currently experiencing a radical transition that is transforming the landscape of your life. Deserts that are dry are being refilled with the revitalizing power of my spirit. The towering impediments are beginning to yield, and the way forward is now made explicit. Reject the skepticism that comes from not believing. Select the straightforward approach of putting your faith in me, since new things are coming to fruition in your life that you have been waiting for for a great number of years. The Father has spoken to you today, saying that you would not be deprived of sleep. From this day forward, I promise that you will be able to rest in tranquility, and that your slumber will be sweet, for you are protected by my everlasting arms. Despite the fact that you may be surrounded by violent churning troubles, I am speaking stillness to your storm. You may have been wondering where I am in all of this, but take a look more closely, I am currently dozing off in the bow of your boat. I want you to stop your never-ending rowing in an attempt to escape the storm and just come make yourself comfortable with me. You will then be able to relax, open your eyes, and arrive in the country without any harm having been brought upon you. There are decisions that other people are making and have made that will lead them in different ways of thought and action. It is important that you do not become so established in these tangential relationships that you end up becoming disconnected from the path that I have chosen for your life. Keep in mind that every one of my ways leads to peace, and that if you find yourself unable to find peace, I am constantly working to bring you back to the core of my goodness. It is a fresh day, according to God. Have no fear. You should not be disheartened since my love is bringing you to a new area where you will be blessed. After taking into account all of the allegations that have been made against you, the Father has informed you today that the decision is in your favor. As a result of my investigation, I have determined that you are not guilty, and I have entirely exonerated you from all charges. It is your time and your turn to have an impact on the nations of the world, and as a result, you will be compensated with a significant compensation and healing. A moment to fulfill the cause for which you were born, which is to fulfill your destined portion and the purposes of the kingdom. Despite the fact that the accuser of the brethren presented a wide variety of objections, I have disregarded each and every one of them and have granted you this very significant victory, says the Father. In spite of the odds, you have triumphed, and now is the time to experience freedom like you never have before and to flourish in every aspect of your life. It will be like if you were a tree that was planted by the rivers of water, and its leaves will not wither during the seasons. You will produce a great deal of fruit, and it will appeal to a variety of individuals. I will eliminate every obstacle and stumbling block that stands in your path as a kind of financial compensation. God promises that those who conspire against your lifting will be relocated to a distant location and occupied elsewhere so that they will not be able to exert a disruptive influence on your upcoming season. Your process of restoration has already begun, and I have determined the pace at which it will go. If you participate with the process, you will receive an increase and a double for any trouble that you cause. Because of the deep feelings that I have for you and the recognition of all the sacrifices that you have made to support my goals, I have done this by my own hand and it is all my doing. I have been faithful and devoted to you throughout your life, 
and I have rescued you from the jaws of defeat and offered you this wonderful opportunity to turn things around. As the Father instructs, get ready, my beloved, for the celebrations to begin, let us get ready. When you spend your life in a posture of appreciation, even when things aren't as you had hoped or expected, you are making room for increase in your life, the Father says today. This is true not only during the holidays, but throughout your whole life. The thief is the one who comes to steal, murder, and destroy, but I am the one who comes so that you may have life and that life more abundantly inside you. Being grateful will allow you to get more. One does not exhibit selfishness when they are thankful. People that are self-centered tend to hoard more than is appropriate and then use it to satisfy their own desires. Because they have not yet understood the benefits that come from being faithful and generous in every aspect of life, this is the reason why they are not successful. The agreement that I have established with you is a covenant that will continue forever and will be extended to your descendants after you have passed away. In the lives of your descendants and subsequent generations, you will reap the fruits of what you have planted in the past. You are going to be led out in peace and you are going to go out with delight. All of creation is waiting and yearning for the manifestation of the mature sons and daughters of God to awaken, arise, and come forth. The mountains and the hills will burst forth in song, and all of the trees in the field will clap their hands. This is because the entire creation is waiting and yearning for the manifestation of Jesus Christ. My presence and my glory will be streaming into and through your life, and you will be acutely aware of both of these things. The areas in which there have been peaks will provide you with a greater measure. Not only has there been a lot of discourse about the splendor, but there has also been a lot of expectation and prayer flowing out. Be aware of the fact that you will experience it to its fullest extent. Regardless of what you accomplish, do it for my glory, and my glory will progressively become more apparent in your midst. As of today, the Father has spoken to you that you will not be held captive. You are about to experience a level of liberation that you haven't felt in a very long time. The chains of transgression that have been following you and keeping you tied are beginning to lose their grip on you. Have faith in that assurance. Have faith that I am exerting my efforts on your behalf. Defy the urge to give up or to stroll around in hopelessness. There are opportunities waiting for you in the future, and there is a perspective on life that is not depressing or devoid of any joy. I am aware that the blow that life handed you caused you to feel pain. Despite the fact that you were unable to locate me or feel my presence, I was right there, providing you with sustenance and maintaining you. I not only heard the things that you did say that you later chose to regret, but I also heard the many things that you chose not to say because you were so steadfast in your belief in me, despite the fact that things were so challenging and challenging. God instructs you to pray with your mouth. The act of praying is like breathing in and out your spirit. In the same way that lungs are responsible for delivering oxygen to the body, prayers are the means by which my grace is inhaled into your soul. They help you to feel lighter and more powerful, even when you are lacking in strength on an emotional and cerebral level. The listener is here. I am responding to the cries that have been coming from your heart. What you are going through is not something that I have allowed to happen because of some perceived failure on your behalf, despite the fact that other people may claim that this is the truth. In spite of the fact that things may appear to be going in a different direction, I have encircled you in my goodness and I am protecting you in my embrace. It is possible that other people have died as a result of circumstances that are comparable to yours, but you may rest assured that I have spared you and that I spare you from destruction. You are in a time of recuperation, restoration, and rest. This is the moment when you will have the opportunity to experience the affection that I have for you with my love that will stay forever. 
Until anything is changed, the Father says, change is not change until it is changed. The route that you are currently traveling is not the one that you had anticipated, but it is essential for the fulfillment of my complete promise. Do not pass judgment on the circumstance or presume that the only things that lie ahead are grief or loss. I am aware of the approach that you use. It is true that I am with you and that I will never abandon or abandon you. I have made preparations for you, and I am supporting you in the same way as a mother holds a child in her arms. Have faith in me. Let me handle everything from here on out. God responds, I never called you to fulfill the role of a fixer. During the time that Uzza was used to steady the ark, he perished because he focused on his own power rather than on my glory. You may find yourself in a situation that is completely beyond of your control, but that does not imply that I am not in charge. On this very day, I am shifting the axis of your situation from one of anguish and pain to one of incredible favor and blessing. Pause for a moment. All of your worries should be exhaled as you breathe in my faithfulness. Please do not be afraid since I am present and I am working. When wickedness expands and the threat of the enemy increases, the Father says that you must never forget that the bulk of the scenario is comprised of one person who is in love with me and trusts me in certain circumstances. You are able to outnumber them already. You should not be concerned, instead, you should close your eyes and utter in a whisper, Father, I trust that your will will be done. Please keep in mind that I do not place any value on pain. Never in my life have I chosen to be your source of pain or destruction. I will break the curse and bring you out into a sevenfold compensation, and I will do this on a scale that is as fast as possible. Be sure to glance up whenever problems appear and appear to be getting worse. In the same way that Moses lifted the serpent and found that everyone who looked at it survived, I say to you, look and live. Look at the cross and see the price that was paid for your redemption. Of course, there is heaven beyond this world, but right now I am your redemption. At this very moment, I am taking action to alleviate and remove the burden of tyranny that you are carrying. As we speak, joy is returning, and testimony is gushing forth from glory to glory and faith to faith. This is happening right now. The Father advises us that when we receive a phone call from hell, we should simply say, Father, it's for you. When we receive threats from our creditors, we should simply grin and say, Father, you've got mail. When you are in a situation where you are completely out of your depth and have no idea what to do, I am working in the background, faithfully, and with determination to destroy the adversary and bring you out on the other side of the issue, where you will be blessed. Take my word for it. Have faith and obey. You must have faith and continue to put one foot in front of the other because the road that lies ahead is one that I have personally ordered and prepared for in its entirety. I feel sorry for your suffering. Please keep in mind that I, too, have been tempted in every way, just like you are. It is important to keep in mind that there is no sorrow or misery available to you that was not initially experienced by me. It makes sense to me. What you are facing is not a mystery to me. In an effort to provide you with the much needed relief, my heart is moving with compassion. The place of expectation should be maintained. Know that my faithfulness is beginning to materialize before your very eyes. If you talk to me and realize that I am who I am, then you will know that this is the moment when you will be delivered. In today's message, the Father emphasizes that fretfulness is a waste of time. In the future, when you see how powerfully I am already moving in your life, you will find that being sad and giving up hope right now will be an embarrassing situation for you. Pray with your mouth alone. 
Those prayers of concern or pleadings of fear are not acceptable. In my kingdom, prayer is not a form of begging or pleading, rather, it is a form of dominating and reigning. While you are on your knees, you take the scepter of rule that the cross has bestowed upon you. Once you have completely surrendered, the doors to glory will open, and angelic intervention will rush to ensure your safety. Stop giving any thought to the events that are taking place around you. No matter what, exercise caution. Whatever it is that you consider to be pure, perfect, just, or virtuous, keep these things in mind because I will never let you down or leave you asking, where is God in all of this? Put your head on my shoulder and look at me. I will help you relax your wrinkled brow if you climb up on my lap. Yes, I am here, and I promise that I will never abandon or abandon you. You are currently experiencing a season of blessings, and my power is currently being made evident in your life. You are emerging from the ashes and being thrust directly into the heart of the countries for kingdom assignments, the Father says today. This is similar to how the phoenix from the matrix emerges from the ashes. You have emerged from the extreme pressures as pure gold, and become a rare commodity for the kingdom. You have become a coveted commodity. Considering that you are irreplaceable and valuable, you should anticipate a significant increase in your stock as you become an item that is in high demand for this new dawn. You will have an effect that extends beyond your borders and has an effect on a great number of individuals. It is going to be folks who are damaged and dejected, on the verge of experiencing despair. The Father states that they will be drawn to the life-giving streams that are flowing out of your inner being as well as the sort of glory flavor that is descending from the heavens, which will bring about a significant change and transformation. The tide is turning, and the power of my resurrection is at work in the circumstances that you are experiencing in your life. You will not be delayed this time, but you will gain ascendancy to the throne, where you will rule and reign and cry vicariously day and night for the salvation and healing of the nations, declares God. This time, you will not be delayed. I made a promise to rescue you from your captivity, and now that promise is being fulfilled, so celebrate. Your fortunes will be restored, and I will give you twice as much for your trouble, as I sincerely promised, and so shall it be. Your youth will be revitalized like an eagle, and you will soar to greater heights than you ever thought possible. The dust that was caused by the tremor is beginning to settle, and the heavy rains are on their way. Due to the fact that breakthrough is occurring right now, the levees are no longer able to hold the waters. According to the Father, you are a prime candidate for the breakthrough since you have emerged triumphant from the fields of all types of testing. Beloved, you are a prime candidate for the breakthrough. In today's message, the Father encourages us to resist the uncertainty that is usually associated with anxiety. Your attention should instead be directed toward my faithfulness, for the events that are about to take place will serve as a testament in your life for many years to come. According to God, there is nothing in your circumstance that takes me by surprise. It is not the case that I am staggering around the royal room, pondering the means by which I will rescue you from the predicament. It is irrelevant how you arrived at this location or who is to blame for it. Playing the blame game is a waste of your time and energy. Just keep your eyes fixed on me, because I am already making preparations to intervene, and I will do so as soon as possible. During this period in your life, the Father explains, you are experiencing a Godspeed acceleration. My peace will prevail over everything at the end of the day, so just let me handle your concerns and know that I will take care of everything. Your part is rest, therefore submit yourselves to my administrative authority. God states that you are emerging from this furnace of tribulation due to the fact that I am the fourth guy in your fire. Let every breath declare, Yes, Lord, I trust you. 
In this very now, I am taking action and moving in order to liberate you, and I will make sure that not even the odor of smoke or any trace of disappointment remains. Even now, the father is saying that they have me completely wrong. Anyway, who exactly are they? On the contrary, I am not the cold, unapproachable, and abusive father that they believe I am. From the perspective of the father, the concept of Father God is a perversion to me. The answer to that misunderstanding is found in the relationship that I have with you. I have ordained you to bring out light concerning my love and care for people who are in your sphere of influence and who are your immediate surroundings. Inform them that I adore them. Make it clear to them that I am not angry with them or dissatisfied with them. Tell everyone, even the people you believe are the least deserving, that I love them because I love them, and that I will never stop loving them. I love them because I love them. All of you are the lights that I was referring to when I said that I am the father of lights. I fashioned you to be a source of illumination. In the same way that Joseph and Benjamin were the light that Abraham saw in my eyes, I created you to be the light that I see in my eyes. You are commanded to be a source of light for me, as well as to be a source of light for those nearby. You are a source of illumination because you make it possible for others to see my connection with you reflected in them. If you tell them that the Father and I will make sure that you receive the benefits of those who tell the truth on earth, then they will believe you. Today, the Father declares, you are my child, I teach you, and I give you a great peace. Your heart should not be burdened in any way. You have faith in me, and you also have faith in my Son, whom I have sent. In my house, there are many mansions, and a place is being prepared for you even now, therefore, know with absolute certainty that Jesus will come again and receive you to himself so that wherever we are, you can also be there. Some people believe that the Lord is delaying the arrival of his arrival. You should keep a watchful eye and pray that you will not be lured in by the growing deception that is occurring in the world around you. You are the people that I have chosen, a royal priesthood that is aware of and carries out my will. Those of you who are sleeping, awaken, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. In me, there is no darkness at all, for I am the light. Walking in the light allows you to have communion with one another, and the blood of Jesus cleanses you from any and all sins that you may have committed. Make sure that you walk with caution, not as idiots but as intelligent people, redeeming the time because the days are evil. My will can be discovered in my word, and as you reflect on it, I will reveal to you things that are big and mighty that you are not aware of. In spite of the fact that your adversary has one plan for you, I have another one ready for you, so you should brace yourself mentally, remain sober, and be vigilant. This plan will be successful. By aligning your time, your thoughts, your words, and your actions with my word, you will be able to say or do anything with the same level of effectiveness as if I were the one saying or doing it. You are a part of the company that is shining like the light burning in a dark area, and I will show myself powerful on your behalf. This was accomplished by your surrender, and as your heart was submitted to me, you became a part of that company. Today, the Father says, the wicked watch the righteous, but I am watching as well, says God. Behold, my faithful hand to deliver, the Father adds. Be patient and wait for me. I have placed the route in front of you, and you must not deviate from it in any way. Those individuals who have been anticipating your demise and speculating about whether or not you will be able to survive are completely unaware of the extent to which I am going to go in order to protect you and enhance you beyond any and all expectations. I want to make it perfectly apparent that I will not abandon you to the hands of the adversary, and I will not condemn you when you are judged. What does this symbolize, and how does it appear to the naked eye? 
I will guide you into a place where, by my power, everything you say and do will become as effective as if I had said it or done it myself if you are willing to remain the kind of person who is open to learning. They have designated you as someone who will be destroyed, but I have designated you as someone who marched before me with a heart that is faultless. Maintain an open mind. You will achieve serenity, wealth, and unpolluted favor if you are able to be interrupted and corrected, and this favor will not be lessened by any conditions that are adverse to it. What about the adversary? He is unable to communicate. What about the person who makes fun of others? All of the mouths will be shut closed. What about the hands that are trembling and the heart that is on the verge of succumbing? While you continue to retain and remain in the area of rest with me, I will strengthen your heart even while you are going through difficult times, and I will advance my purposes throughout you. I say, trust me, and I will handle everything from here on out. As of today, the Father has stated that those who are wicked have bowed their bows, but their arrows have failed to hit their target. Even though you may be in the sights of the adversary, you should be aware that I am the one who will defend you. I am the solid tower that protects you and defends you. It is possible that some people will look at this and believe that it is the end, but in reality, this is just the beginning. It is possible that a thousand may fall on your right hand and ten thousand will fall on your left hand, but it will not come close to you. The sword that the adversary draws in order to eliminate you will penetrate his own heart and cause the innards of his hatred to bleed forth into the land that he has contaminated. Have faith in me. My hand is at work in your life, put your trust in it. You are being purified in the furnace of suffering so that you may emerge as gold. The little that you have and the little that you have retained of your testimony are being polished.